Welcome to Electrical Engineering Learning Course. To gain a deep understanding of any field, it is essential to grasp its basic concepts and principles. This video series focuses on the foundational principles of electrical science. In each episode, we will explore a new topic related to electricity and its underlying concepts. I encourage both students and professionals to watch the entire series to solidify their understanding. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated with all the upcoming videos. Welcome to Technify.com. Let's begin our journey into electricity, starting with its history. Electricity as we know it today is not an ancient discovery. For thousands of years, people marveled at lightning in the sky, unaware of its true nature. It wasn't until the mid-18th century that an American scientist, through a kite experiment, discovered that the lightning in the sky is more than just light. It is a powerful force of energy. During this experiment, he experienced an electric shock, but fortunately survived. Following this discovery, experiments related to electricity gained momentum. At the start of the 19th century, Alessandro Volta invented the battery, and in 1831, Michael Faraday developed the electric generator. By 1879, Thomas Edison invented the electric lamp, marking the beginning of the practical use of electricity in daily life. By 1935, electricity was widely available in major cities across the United States and the world. Today, electricity powers nearly every corner of the globe, becoming an indispensable part of modern human life. It's hard to imagine survival without electricity in this era. What is electricity? Electricity, electrical systems, and electronics are interconnected terms, all originating from the word electric, which itself derives from electron. To truly understand electrical and electronic systems, one must first understand what an electron is and how it behaves. Electrons are fundamental to the movement of charge and energy. To comprehend electricity, we must delve into the theory of electrons. Understanding Matter and Atoms Everything in the universe has mass and occupies space, and these are collectively called matter. Matter exists in three states, solid, liquid, and gas. It is composed of tiny particles called molecules, which are further made up of atoms. An atom is the smallest particle of an element that retains its chemical properties. Atoms of the same type combine to form elements, such as oxygen and hydrogen. When different atoms combine, they create compounds, such as water, H2O. Atoms consist of two main parts, the nucleus, core, and the outer region. The nucleus contains protons, positively charged particles, and neutrons, neutral particles. Protons and neutrons are tightly bound together and account for the atom's mass. Electrons and their motion. Surrounding the nucleus are electrons, which are extremely light and carry a negative charge. Electrons revolve around the nucleus in specific orbits called shells. These shells, designated as K, L, M, and N, represent different energy levels. The number of electrons that can exist in a shell is determined by the formula 2N2, where N is the shell number. For instance, the first shell, K, can hold two electrons. The second shell, L, can hold eight electrons. The third shell, M, can hold 18 electrons. The fourth shell, N, can hold 32 electrons. Each orbit has a specific energy level, with inner orbits, closer to the nucleus, having lower energy, and outer orbits, having higher energy. Valence electrons and their importance. The outermost shell of an atom is called the valence shell, and the electrons in this shell are known as valence electrons. These valence electrons determine the chemical and electrical properties of a material. In most atoms, the valence shell can hold a maximum of eight electrons. Valence electrons that are weakly bound to the nucleus can easily escape and are referred to as free electrons. The flow of these free electrons creates an electric current. Free electrons and conductivity. 
Free electrons play a crucial role in electrical conductivity. Due to their higher energy levels and weaker attraction to the nucleus, they can easily move from one atom to another when external energy is applied. This movement of free electrons constitutes the flow of electricity. By understanding the behavior of electrons and their interaction with the nucleus, we can begin to comprehend how electricity is generated, transmitted, and utilized. In upcoming videos, we will explore more about electrical principles and their applications in everyday life. In next video, we will learn about electric charge, it flow, current, and voltage. Stay tuned, and let's dive deeper into the fascinating world of electricity.